you could purify, purify, what, what's it called when you whiz it up? <laughs> I was going to say blend or... Yeah, when you blend it. Yeah. So, I can't remember the word. <laughs> anyway, anyway, when you puree. 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 There you go. Baby food. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Alright. When you puree. Hey guys, um, today I have a very special guest with me. Um, would you like to introduce yourself? Hi Anna, hi everyone. My name's Amanda Coneyworth and um, I am very lucky to be good friends with Anna for quite some time now and um, I share the same journey and passion as she does for obviously being as healthy and as abundant as you can in life. So yeah, we have a lot of things in common and we love to get together to talk about it. So yeah, yeah I'm really glad to be here and helping you um, to answer some questions. Yeah, well, we have um, some deep questions today um, that both Amanda and I will be answering. We're gonna do a little Never Have I Ever. So we have a list of health-based kind of, um, never have I ever questions, and then we have our signs. So if we have done whatever we read out, then we'll say I have, <laughs> and if we haven't, we say that we haven't. So, well let's start. Okay, never have I ever done a juice cleanse. <laughs> oh, competing. <laughs> Yeah, we should do like a point system. <laughs> um, I don't know whether we'd get points if we did or didn't do some of these <laughs> yeah. things. Um, so, I did a juice cleanse, I think at the start of last year or possibly even the year before. Um, Douglas and I, we did it together and it was like a week where we didn't have anything except the juice. And it was because we'd watched some documentaries um, which I can link to below, but one of them was, um, I'm gonna guess, okay, fat Yes, yeah, yeah. that is what it was. Yeah, I think it was just, a, we went in too hard, too fast, and we just went a week, like, no food at all, except it didn't really serve us as well as it could have if we were a little bit more gentle with ourselves, but each to their own. If you want to go, like, all out and do it, you can do that, or if you want to be a bit more gentle with yourself, you can do that as well. Mm. Never have I ever tried Pilates. I'm kind of like a bit of both. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. Because I've never been to an actual Pilates class before, but I have, as of like two weeks ago, I did like this 30 minute like beginners Pilates thing. Because I heard Pilates is really good because it's like, a mix between like yoga but also like strength based exercise and it really like uses your core mm -hmm. and like you know us ladies would like to have that flat those flat abs um so i heard it was really good but i'd never really tried it before so i just did like this quick like beginners class online i do a lot of yoga classes and stuff just like through youtube videos i love youtube videos interesting because I've actually never done an online class but I've been I've done a lot of yoga classes both at proper studios and also I'm a fitness first member so they run lots of different types of yoga classes and that's actually where I've done my Pilates mm -hmm. and I've probably done one or two external classes outside of the gym but it's really funny because you think you're good at yoga, you think you're actually really strong, um, good at planks and other sort of strength based exercises, but then when you actually do a technical Pilates class, it's really hard. <laughs> and I look at all the women in the class that have been doing it for a long time and I think, oh my gosh, <laughs> yeah. I'm really out of my depth here and so much um, there is to learn and to yeah. develop in terms of I feel form. like yeah, for me, the reason that I haven't been to an actual class is because it's like I almost want to get up my fitness <laughs> in like that class before I go to it, so I kind of want to have like an idea of what the exercises are and to know that I can actually do them to an extent before I actually try it for myself. And I think it was the same with yoga, like I didn't try yoga for the longest time and it was because I didn't know whether I would be able to do it. I didn't know if I was strong enough. I didn't know if I was I would be flexible enough. And so I just like practiced a bit by myself and then went to a class like months later. 
And I should have just gone from the beginning because like the yoga teachers and everything, they're always so lovely. Yeah. And they just like, everyone just works at their own pace. So if you've never tried a yoga class, definitely go. Yeah, and definitely with Pilates, even more important because technique is key. And if you're trying to do things mm. and not even understanding the feeling, going to a class where they actually describe to you what muscles to engage and what the feeling is meant to be, mm. it means the difference between actually doing things, strengthening yourself and actually getting injured. So yeah, definitely, definitely mm. recommend it, particularly yeah. for Pilates. And yoga. Good point, yes. <laughs> Never have I ever had a colonic. No, <laughs> the same. <laughs> Never have I ever been on a diet. <laughs> so what was your diet? I guess I, like everyone, have been on those diets where when I was younger, well, my, certainly my mindset before I knew about health and wellness was that if you didn't eat food, you would lose weight. Yeah. So I guess that's pretty common as a mindset and absolutely terrible. And the opposite, um, now that I know what I know, but um, I guess, yeah, when I was younger, that's the sort of diet, well, that's what I considered that was a diet. Um, but to be honest, I could never sustain it for more than a day yep. because clearly my body needs to eat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, the next question is, never have I ever been skinny to be? I'd be interested to know, man. <laughs> Amanda. I know, I'm boring. <laughs> Why haven't I done it? Probably lack of alcohol. Lack of alcohol. <laughs> lack of self-confidence. I don't think that I would have been comfortable, when I had the opportunity, I don't think I would have been comfortable stripping down into no clothes and jumping in the ocean or the pool. Um, I think the, the closest thing I liken to skinny dipping for me is um, doing a yoga class with <laughs> really short bike pants on yeah. and a prop. Like to me that's that's more confronting because I've got a mirror and I Plus guess, you're like moving your body in all these like yeah. poses. <laughs> <laughs> so and there's no alcohol involved when I'm in a yoga class, so yeah. who knows? Recently when I went to Spain, I went to some Roman baths while I was there and I didn't know anyone there. <laughs> And I was in the change room, like the ladies' change room, and everyone was just like stripped down and then were putting their ro their robes on. And so I just followed suit and did the same thing. And that's probably the first time that I have like, without any alcohol or anything, just made the decision that, you know, I can do this. I'm confident enough in my body. And I think because also I didn't know anyone either, yeah. so I felt like, it couldn't get back to anyone or something. I don't know. Yeah, that people weren't judging you. No, yeah, exactly. Based on their prior experience with you or their yes, their relationship exactly. with you. Yeah. So I yeah felt felt alright with it, and then um, put my swimmers and everything on, and we went into the Roman baths, and it was lots of fun. My um my my list of things that I should try in my life would include something like a naked yoga class or one of those yeah. charity events where people you know strip down and do a swim or something like that so whether I do it or not um, <laughs> is another thing that I think it's really inspiring so yeah I think um, it's a good lesson for people to just throw out those sorts of um, I guess self-confidence issues and actually realize that no one else is looking at you, they don't really care what you look like and it's not like they are going to judge you. They're more yeah. concerned with worrying about themselves. Everyone is just worrying about themselves. Yeah. Have you ever jumped in a cold plunge pool? <laughs> yeah. When I end my shower, I will turn the hot water off and just like sit under the cold. And it's also really good because it forces you to breathe like, I don't know, just really quickly into your chest because you're just like <gasps> Yeah. And it's just like Shock. it's like so cold. Yeah. yeah, so it like rejuvenates and like revitalizes your body and it's supposed to be really good for your brain as well. I try it out. Yeah, I should 
Go cold. Yeah, my list of things to do in my shower. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm just editing together that video for you at the moment. I hope you enjoyed watching it. Um, how cool is Amanda, by the way? I'm gonna link all of her social media below this video on YouTube. So make sure that you check out all of her different things she's got going on, because she's got a lot of awesome things going on. Um, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe below or use the button that I'll put right here. Um, because, actually I'm gonna put it over here. Um, yeah, but subscribe because I've got more awesome videos coming and thank you so much for watching this one. Hope you enjoyed it and make sure that you're kind to everyone that comes across your path today or tomorrow or the next day and I will catch you in the soup. Bye.